what's up guys welcome back to another video um welcome to the new subscribers thank you so much for all the support and love um in this video i want to talk about um a few things guys uh pretty exciting but let's talk about these things what you see here guys welcome <laughs> what's this a donkey is donkey buff has been put on me by the king over here so-called king um so he he decided to put some uh, debuffs on on people uh because they they left him and they don't like him anymore you know so he put one on on this castle over here it's my one and they put one of my friends um yeah we're getting too strong too good for him anyway so this is kingdom 195 guys kingdom 195 if anyone wants to come over drop by to kingdom 195 we're gonna have some fun over here uh, i still haven't decided about um uh, changing kingdom transfer it's opened it's opened yesterday i believe what's it today it's the um 10th of april okay so it opened yesterday and uh, i welcome everyone uh put in the comment guys uh if any, any kingdom you have you want me to come over to i can check it out and i can call some of my friends and we can go over there now guys i want to talk about uh, a new update a few new things pretty funny and I, I don't really know as well what what it is about so let's go and get started and get in there right so if, if you this is Hauxi civilization guys so um apparently there is a new building called the uh, firearms camp that's over here it's really beautifully designed as you can see over here um the design is pretty nice you see a dragon and out of his mouth you see a cannon coming out uh, pretty cool i think in each civilization is different different civil civilization designs etc and um it will probably be a different place in your castle so um let's go ahead and click on it and see what it offers now uh, let's go to details um, more information so basically um, the firearms camp can produce shells which can be used to attack enemies so shells could be also grenades cannon balls etc for in your own country now the first one when you unlock uh, it's called a stink shell uh, storage is 10 max destruction value 300 power 27 i've used the stink shell before and it's been used before by other people and it doesn't do much um let's see what what it produces so let's go and click on this button over here so um nothing else but to make the enemy's castle stink last for three minutes can't be stacked right so um if you look over here guys as you can see here there is a new type of material that you need um it's in purple and i believe it's called um cannon uh, powder yeah if i'm correct i'll check it later on uh, you need that to um produce cannons cannon shells now um for the stink shell uh, we only need um, those resources over here pretty cheap um, and also it doesn't take too long it takes two hours to produce but we're gonna speed it up so I'm gonna make a stink shell quickly for you guys and we're gonna use it <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's two hours let's speed it up one two so when you finish it that's what happens you collect it you have collected it now and let's go and use it let's go and use it on someone you guys already know who I'm gonna use it to on this guy over here let's do something on him so you, you, you select the person you press attack and then you get two options bomb March so we're gonna press bomb then you get this option over here we got one sting shell select it gets a tick and you press bomb so guys you can do this while you're shielded you don't have to be on shield and it doesn't break your shield okay you press it and then you can see it over here um, it's sending it right now we're gonna follow it so it's pretty quick <clears throat> uh, some of them take two minutes I think depending on your March speed it might affect it so let's you can't speed it up you have to wait for it 
and it doesn't um so i have let me pause it and when it's about to arrive i'll get back to you welcome back guys so the cannon is about to hit let's go ahead to the target let's see what it does stink shell <laughs> pretty funny see okay come up with these funny upgrades and stuff let's go three two one boom <laughs> uh, basically you lose the uh, skin and you can see the stinking kind of you know smell and stuff showing up over here <laughs> pretty funny guys this is if you want to just make a joke out of someone you know like i'm doing right now um pretty funny um let, let me show you uh one of my uh my friend he he uh, he hit him with with a, a different kind of shell i'll show you so he he upgraded his um fire fire arms camp he upgraded it and and he got the um not the gas so not the gas one what does the gas do so the gas one does poison enemy castles during the effect time the troops inside the enemy castle will be slowly wounded into emergency tent and reduce 20 percent of the soldiers defense last for 30 minutes can't be stacked okay pretty pretty good i mean it, it uh, to me it means that uh, the troops will get wounded and also they reduce 20 percent defense i don't know if it means the whole your whole uh, military route reduces by 20 percent in terms of defense i don't know but i'll try it uh, one time but basically he, he used a grenade which is one of the best ones you can use this is the one where you kill troops of the enemy as you can see over here randomly kills 0.5 percent to 1.5 percent enemy soldiers upper limit 50,000 so you can kill up to 50,000 troops uh, by grenades um, and these grenades will not be counted in any event related to soldier death so it won't get added up it just is just a kill um, specific to that one so I'm gonna show you a, a report of this of the troops that died with one grenade bear with me i'll come back to you. okay guys so um here's the report as you can see here uh it's showing here the grenade you launched hit the castle of lion roar his troops suffered a crushing defeat the death of soldiers are as follows shadow assault soldier times twelve thousand five hundred. so this is a i think a t9 infantry and then this loading i believe this loading is the t11 troops or the uh the elite legion troops but i'm more likely it's the t11 troops that's 12,500 of them dead um the other one is the meteorite 12,500 that's the uh level 8 t8 siege and then we have got 12,500 in red catapult which is a t10 siege so in total he lost in one shot 50,000 troops and 12,500 of them were kind of expensive because you need to um, get the fine iron and stuff like that to uh, produce them. So it's pretty awesome. I believe this is a great, um, this is actually pretty good in terms of if you get dueled. So if someone duels you and you can't duel him back because he's too strong or he, he just gets awake too quick, what you can do is you can just hit him with a, one of those grenade shells and uh, get kind of a 50,000 troops from them dead, you know? Um, so that's that's so if you want to, guys, you want to try it out, try it. It does work. Um, the update was today and I just did it um, uh, with the sting shell just now and my, my friend done it with the grenade and they both worked. So let's go back into the game and I'll show you other things. So guys, you get you get a report when you and you hit someone. So it says here, the sting shell you fired hit lions for castle. His castle became stinky. Exactly. So that's cool. So um, now guys, the, the thing that we have noticed over here is it costs those cannon powder and it's pretty, um, it takes 100 away for one shell. And as you can look at the other one, gas shell, I think it takes two, 300 and this last one, another one of the, it takes 500. So you, you probably have to buy it and I'll show you. And you got the um, frozen shell. Frozen shell extends enemy marching time for 30 minutes, lasts for 120 minutes. So it, it makes the enemy marching time 30 minutes extra and it lasts for one, 120 minutes. Okay, 
Um, and the last one is a blaster shell. Uh, reduces 2000 enemy castle city defense after bombing. So this is kind of the same one as the Alliance Cannon. When you hit a castle and it's in your area and you want to drive it, uh, drove it away from the um, from your area because it probably attack you, etc. So I don't think that's something for me that I would use. Now, if you look on the left side over here. Um, you can see red, blue, and green, and it's showing you what the use of it is. So here, it got destructive power 10, shell volume 3, flight speed 20. Now, if we go back to the grenade, you can see that the grenade had destructive destructive power of 20, uh, shell volume 2, flight speed 80. Now, the flight speed means how fast it can get over there, because you got different shells. For example, you got heavy shells, light shells. So in re this is in kind of a real life situation when you are um, you bombing someone with a heavy heavy bomb, you know, a shell which which has so much um, uh, ca cannon powder inside, etc. It might take longer for you to get to reach. But when you are send uh, sending out, for example, uh, a gas shell, which is only, you know, uh, has a, a gas inside, which is pretty light, so it travels much faster. Now, um, there is an event going on. So if you press on it, it's called the Red Jade Scar Chamber of Commerce. So it, it ends after one day. I think it's been there for a day and a half. It came up halfway. So if you click on it, you get this interface. So what you need to do here is you're exchanging your resources for, um, for, for this powder, black powder. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna show you. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So it's 135, so 10 to 200. So let's let's use let's use the wood. Let's use the wood, and I'm going to use the food. Okay, so I got 200, 200. Yeah, I've exchanged that. That's done. I'll exchange the iron as well. I'm gonna get eight of them. Let's do this one as well. Exchange. 130 who cares let's just do all of them here we go so let's see how much we got if we want to produce so i got 700 if you look on the left hand side corner 777 lucky number okay what i'll do is let me upgrade let me upgrade this one and i'll show you the gas shell upgrade speed up let's speed up this thing quickly okay free that's it so it's level two now okay and now the gas shell has uh, been unlocked so the gas shell cost 500 and as we said it's pretty good uh, it might reduce the defense by 20% okay um, so I'm not gonna make that one because I don't want need that one at the moment I'll probably save for the grenade and I'll hit someone with it um, I want to I want to talk about guys I want to talk about the um, kingdom transfer so I want to I want to show you my list and it's a bit buggy but um, I'll show you show you what, what, what I have available over here in the list I think goes by by server each server has its own and uh, it's pretty decent that it's pretty cheap because um, certain kingdoms it costs only one scroll which is equal of um, 9.99 okay a transfer card is cost only one uh, one nine ninety nine each if if you have only one so on the top of obviously here you see how many you need uh, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go around so as you can see some of them are one you know some of them are more so if you see your kingdom over here and you believe it's a good kingdom and, and this 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 the good communication um, peace and strong players etc do let me know in the comment section and I'll have a look at it and I'll um, 
I'll see if I can, um, um, uh, you know, get, get a group and come to you guys or if you guys want to come to me. Um, let's go back because it's a bit buggy. So see, like I'm trying to move it up. It doesn't always work. See, I have to go back. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that's my list. If you see your kingdom over here, you know, do a shout out on, in the comment section and then uh, we talk about it. Um, give you one second, guys. Yeah, guys, so that's what's up. I uh, just want to show you a few things, a few new things that's come up. Um, obviously, I'll keep you guys up to date with any other uh, happenings within uh, COK. I think there's the event is going on, forging event. Make sure you guys do those things. You get some blueprint shards. Um, again, uh, this is the kingdom I'm in. Um, if you're interested to, to drop him by, um, if you if you guys want to come and take over this kingdom, more than welcome. I'm, I'll be on your side. We're going to help each other. Um, I'm more than happy to get some new players in over here. Um, it will be really fun um, to obviously play with those who are actually watching my videos etc and or for those who just wants a new challenge um, more than welcome and you guys seen my uh, list of kingdom transfer so if your if your kingdom is there and you guys say hey let's let's get get him on on board just uh, put a comment section there put a comment and um, I'll, I'll go and check out your kingdom and we can talk about it um, and if you decide to come over also welcome guys uh, I'll see you guys in another video uh, make sure you guys uh, for the new ones subscribe and like and share the video appreciate it um, nearly a thousand subscribers and I, I will I will I will I hope I will do something for you guys I'll probably do some giveaways and um, I'll catch you guys in another video peace out